What's up, y'all? I'm Lauren St. Victor, and welcome to Fit Chat. We talk artistry and fitness. Today, we have Carla Mosley, you know her as Maya Vance on The Bold and the Beautiful, Elodie Baxter on Heart of Dixie, Christina Moore Boudreau on The Guiding Light, and the children's show High Five. Let's find out what inspires her artistically and motivates her to stay fit. Let's go. <laughs> Tell me, where did you grow up? I grew up in uh, Westchester, New York. Did you always want to be an actor? I did, yeah, from when I was little. My mom took us to Broadway shows as soon as we were able to be in Broadway shows. She put us in dance classes really early. Can you explain to everyone what Sugar Beats is? One of my first classes, it was at a place called Dance, Drama, and Song. They got a call from a woman named Sherry Condor, who coincidentally is also Carol King's daughter. She was she was creating this album for kids, but using songs from the 60s and 70s, songs that their parents grew up listening to. Um, we were able to do really fun things and tour around, and it was great. What was your experience at NYU. Well, NYU is really special. So I started in the musical theater program at NYU, um, and I also had a, a concentration in community-based art, which so I was doing a lot of um, drama therapy and working with at-risk at youth. Today, what would you say your method or technique is. I'm a very physical person um, on High Five, which is a show that we will probably talk about. <laughs> yes, we will a talk kids about. show. <laughs> Each person represented a different type of learning style. And mine was the kid who learns through their body. And I think that was so perfect for me because I do. I'm someone that like needs to um, either move. So sometimes I'll move with my text. I'll, uh, I write out. There's something that happens in your brain when you like physically write something. There's the, the, the speed, it's a lot slower and you have to see it and it's it's like in your body. So you, you mentioned high five. So we gotta yeah. talk about this amazing kids show that you were a part of. It was such a fun job. I mean we taped five episodes a week over two days. Oh wow. And every episode was musical. Um we were singing, we did, you know, several different songs. You're on this children's show, right? But then you're off Broadway mm. doing something very different, yeah. expatriate, very yeah. different. It's though. a two-woman show about these um, two young black women who grow up in the Boston projects and then move to New York and then move to Paris and become musical superstars. And it was an incredible experience. So let's take a detour. Wow. Guiding light, bold and the beautiful. <sighs> now, many people don't know that mm -hmm. you can shoot up to eight, nine episodes a week. What do you do to stay grounded and stay on top of the story even though it's moving like... I like, I'll read all of the scripts and go through them at the beginning of the week. And then, um, and then just the night before, I'll focus on whatever the next day. Uh, what's the difference between shooting Heart of Dixie mm -hmm. and shooting Bold and the Beautiful? Mm -hmm. You have a little bit more time to rehearse mm -hmm. on set with the cameras, with your scene partner, you know, whereas in daytime the way that we rehearse is uh we don't and so <laughs> <laughs> True story. i don't change the way that i approach it but i do change kind of energy wise energetically it's like am i running a sprint or am i running a marathon halfway through playing maya <laughs> avant you found out that she was born a boy that she's transgender mm -hmm. now playing her for about two years without that knowledge how'd that affect just the way you played her, your process of just learning this big piece of information. It was really important to me that that story be told well and truthfully and authentically. And so if it weren't something that actually worked in Maya's story, I, I don't think I would have said yes. But amazingly, you know, we've seen all of these, you, you've said to before, like, you could have a, a superhero or like a different doll for every single yeah, Maya, person that Maya has been, you know? <laughs> and, and it was, it was a challenge for me as an actor to somehow navigate that and still keep her core the same. But it always felt like there's something going on here. There's something missing. And that piece of information that she's been holding on to, you know, her truth and her identity and not able to share it with the people closest to her for me, connected the dots. So, you, I mean, we all know you act on Bold and the Beautiful, but you've also produced mm. a web series. <laughs> we produced Roommate Together, yes. CBS. What was that experience like? Suddenly, um, we were writing scripts and then had to present them to not only the people at Bold and the Beautiful, but the network with CBS. <laughs> and, like, going into those meetings and yeah. justifying and, and, you know, choosing, like, what battles do I fight for? What do I let go? How 
do I fight for them? You know, do you fight with a smile or do you fight with like, no, this is really important. But it was also really fun to be on that side because, you know, it felt like, yeah, this is, this is a room I could be in. You do something called cardio crunk. You, you get it in. Yeah. Why do you do cardio crunk? What I love about crunk and specifically cardio crunk, the way that Jeffrey does it, is that it is, it's, it's all about, uh, exploring those different, the way that like masculine and feminine exists in both of us. And so I'm very excited about that for you. Uh, yeah, but there are moments where, you know, it's about being sexy and, and sensual and like, what does that look like for you? And then it's about like being hard. <laughs> What's your diet like? Mm. What's in your fridge? I'm a vegan. Uh, I, I have been vegan for probably 10 years, vegetarian since I was 10. I, it's taken me a long time to learn how to fuel my body uh, well as a vegan because I need to eat smaller meals throughout the day, make sure that I, you know, get protein and greens and all of that balance. What, what motivates you to stay fit? Yeah, I struggled with an eating disorder uh, in my early professional years. As a performer, I... I just decided somewhere along the way that like, I believe I'm supposed to be healthy. I believe that I'm supposed to be working in this industry. And so if that's true, um, I'm just going to have to trust that. You know, I used to be on set and thinking constantly about like, if I had to be in a bathing suit or, you know, doing a love scene or something like thinking about like, what are these people thinking about me? And what's the cameraman thinking about my thigh? And, you know, and I'm just, I'm so tired of that. And I'm just, I'm happy to be on set now thinking about my acting and not about like what my butt looks like. This industry for an actor can be very, you know, can be very hard. What do you do to stay inspired artistically? Seeing people do their work inspires me. I also don't think there's space in this industry for competition. To think that I need to pull someone else down or that someone else's success means that I don't get success just doesn't fly with me. I love it. Always. I love it. Let's get crunk, yo. Yeah. Let's get cardio crunk. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we are with Jeffrey Adams, creator of Cardio Crunk. Tell us what we're about to do right now. Um, right now we're about to do some fitness cardio. We're gonna be doing lots of high intensity, moving lateral, moving forward, moving back, but it's requiring us to dance a little bit, a little dancing skill, so you'll be fine. Carla. I'll be fine. fine. You'll be fine. I'll see how you do. I'll be in trouble. <laughs> All right, let's get it in. Yo, that was crazy. Jeffrey, you killed me. Cardio Crunk. If you guys are ever in Los Angeles, make sure you check him out. Carla, thank you so much. Make sure you guys follow her. Her info is in the description. She is so genuine and such a talented artist. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and share the video. I'll see you next time.